When you're working on your e-learning projects, it's always nice when it's easy to make your slides look exactly the way you want them to look. And in Storyline 2, there are a lot of great new things that can help you do that. And one of my favorites and a big time saver for everyone is the totally new text editor that really gives you a lot more fine-tuned control over what your text looks like. So let's take a brief look at some of the great new ways you can work with your text in Storyline 2. The first thing I'd like to point out is the new character spacing options. So I can come right here on my font formatting toolbar on the ribbon and I've now got the ability to expand or collapse my text and manage the spacing in between each individual character. So we see we can do that with entire words or even entire blocks of words. I can also come in and let's say that I am looking at my title here and the first three letters look a little bit different than the rest so maybe I just want to nudge those a little bit closer together and kind of make that more uniform. I can come back up here to my character spacing option and I'm not limited to these default settings. I can come right down here to more spacing and now I've really got the ability to fine tune this which is really going to give you the ability to tweak that text and get it exactly the way you need it to be. Another great new feature in Storyline 2 that's going to let you get some really great looking text is some of the options for paragraph formatting. So you can see here our text box. We've got several paragraphs. They're all kind of crammed together. There's not much spacing. It's hard to read and it's really just ugly. So let's jump up to our ribbon here in the paragraph formatting section. I'm going to go ahead and just open our paragraph formatting dialog box and I want to show you a couple of the things we can do that can really transform this text into something more readable and a lot better looking. So the first thing is we can put a special indent on our paragraphs and let's say for this slide we want to use the first line indent and maybe 0.5 is too big I can get this exactly the size I want, maybe 0.3. Maybe I want to customize that even further. I can make it 0.35. And we can see the amount of granular control we have here to fine tune these text settings. Same thing with our line spacing. We're not just stuck with single or double or even one and a half line spacing. We can really get precise. And let's say that I like the look of 1.15 line spacing. With Storyline 2, that's no problem. We just drop it in and we're all set. And then the last thing as far as paragraph formatting goes is this is really, really great to put some separation in between your paragraphs. We now have the ability to add spacing before and or after your paragraphs and give all those paragraphs a little breathing room and again, get that exactly the way you want it to be. So you can see that was super quick and super easy to really take what was an ugly blob of text and really make a big improvement. And that brings us to bullet points. Now a lot of e-learning courses have bulleted lists and in Storyline 2 you now have the ability to make your bullet points virtually anything you want them to be. So if we want to make the last three lines of this text box a bulleted list we can come up to our bullets options up here on the ribbon. You can see that we've got some standard default options here which may be fine for your project. But if you really want to get custom we can come into the bullets and numbering option here and Storyline 2 now gives us the ability to use any symbol from any font that we've got on our computer and use that as our bullet points. So, for instance, if you've got any other icon or wingding type fonts, you can find one of those and use that as your bullet points and really perfectly match your bullets to your course content. Once we've chosen the perfect symbol for our bullet points, we've also got some customization options as far as size. So let's say maybe I want to make that 120% and that's relative to the size of your text. And then we also probably want to match our visual design theme for our course and give that bullet a specific color. So now we can see that we've really transformed a boring dull bullet point 
into something that is customized perfectly for our course. And if you want to take that even one step further, we can combine our bullet point formatting with our paragraph formatting, which we saw earlier. And now I can set up some indentation before the text. So maybe I want those bullet points indented into the one inch mark. And then this special indenting is going to control how much space is between the bullets and the actual list item. So we can see now that that's really going to give us a great deal of control over exactly how those bullets look and where they are going to be positioned in your text boxes. And the last thing I want to look at, as if everything else so far hasn't been enough, is how Storyline 2 can handle ligatures in certain fonts. So if we look at our title font here, we're using this script font, and notice the, the shape of those two T's here in the middle. And what a ligature will do is it will change characters based on the string of letters being displayed. So if I put a space in between the two T's, those T's are going to change. And that's a pretty powerful function that you normally find only in advanced text editors. That's going to give you a lot of great custom options, and it's really critical when you're working with some foreign languages. So go ahead and give some of those new features a try and see just how easy it is to perfect your text in Storyline 2.